Hi everybody. Welcome to Ordinary Differential Equations, the mathematical framework and tools for understanding, modeling, and predicting anything that moves. Hi, welcome back to the second lecture of Chapter 8, where we're studying bifurcation of equilibria. In the last lecture, I gave you an example of the saddle node bifurcation, and I will continue with examples in this lecture by talking about the transcritical bifurcation. Okay, transcritical bifurcation. We consider this two-dimensional autonomous vector field in the plane x dot is mu x minus x squared. Remember, saddle node was just mu minus x squared. And y dot equals minus y. Mu is the variable parameter. So we can see, easily see what the um, equilibria are. The approach is the same. We look at the equilibria and study their linearized stability as a function of mu. So y has to be 0. And x factors out. So we have x equals 0 and mu equals x. <clears throat> and that's what we have here. So we can linearize about these and what we see that 0, 0 is stable for mu less than 0, unstable for mu greater than 0, a sink for mu less than 0, a saddle for mu greater than zero, and mu zero is for mu negative, it's a saddle, for mu positive, it's a sink. So the opposite instability. So if we plot out what the bifurcation diagram, so mu horizontally, and the relevant phase space variable that captures the bifurcation, and in this simple example, it's, there's no question about it, we see is that for x equals 0, the mu axis is x equals 0 is an equilibrium point for every value of mu. And then we have mu equal x, the 45 degree line. Okay, so drawing the vertical lines which indicate the phase plane, phase space, which is just one dimensional for that particular value of mu, we see that for mu negative on this vertical line, we have a stable equilibria and the dashed line is the unstable equilibria. As mu decreases, they move together. They coalesce into a single non-hyperbolic equilibrium point. We can see this from the Jacobian, mu equals zero, non-hyperbolic equilibrium, single equilibrium point. And for mu positive, you have two equilibrium, one stable, the other unstable. So sometimes this transcritical bifurcation is referred to as an exchange of stability, and you can see that, what it means from this bifurcation diagram. But now, compare with saddle node. Saddle node went from zero to two equilibria, an intermediate step two coalesced into one non-hyperbolic. Okay, this one goes from two equilibria to two equilibria for two equilibria from mu less than zero, two equilibria from mu greater than zero, but at the non-hyperbolic value, they coalesce into one non-hyperbolic equilibrium. So two, one, two. So that we get a change in the number of equilibria at the non-hyperbolic value of the parameter. And then we can plot these in the two-dimensional phase space for representative values of mu less than zero, mu equals zero, and mu greater than zero. And that is a good exercise to verify these phase portraits for the three values of mu. Okay, that's a good place to stop now. We've done saddle node, transcritical, and in the next lecture, we're going to look at the pitchfork bifurcation. So goodbye for now.